Hey guys, Mark here. Today we are talking about Z-Wave range extenders. Like all mesh networks, even Z-Wave has issues with range. As a closed mesh network with very limited ability to travel between devices, depending on whether you're on Z-Wave or Z-Wave Plus, uh, you can often find that things don't respond the way they should or things can't reach the hub at all. We've talked in other videos about how uh, often your Z-Wave hub has to be located near a router. For some people that's in their basement or in their attic or in their garage at the end of the house. There might be multiple walls for your hub to have to reach through to get signal going. And so one of the most frustrating things in the world is having all these Z-Wave devices that aren't talking to each other very well. And usually that's because there's a range issue. So what do you do? Well, in my instance, I did a bit of research and I've always had a lot of AATEC devices, Z-Wave devices in my network. And I went out and got the AATEC Z-Wave range extender. Now this is the version six and I've been running this for about a year. And there is also a Z-Wave range extender seven now on the market, uh, which boasts uh, even better performance. Do I need to upgrade? Probably not. If you can get the six on a good deal right now, no problem whatsoever. So instead of talking a lot about the actual AATEC Z-Wave range extender, uh, I thought we'd just talk about how they actually work. And then obviously, you know, the clear recommendation from me is to go out and buy the AATEC because I know it. Uh, but uh, if you can find another Z-Wave range extender that works for you, then that's great. So the device itself is really quite simple. Uh, it comes uh, in a very simple box. You plug it in and like all AATEC devices, you pair it, uh, which is very simple. And then when you plug it in, you'll get a nice green light on the side. Uh, it will work with smart things. It will work with uh, most hubs. Basically any Z-Wave hub will benefit from a range extender. And I've bought a few of my friends along. He says strangely talking about devices. We've got a SmartThings hub here. We've got a AATEC Smart, Smart Switch 6. Say that six times fast. AATEC Smart Switch 6 uh, here. We've got the range extender here. And we're gonna imagine that this light bulb is the thing that we're trying to work with. So a classic example of why you would need a range extender is this. Let's say you have your hub at the end of the house, in the basement, wherever your router is, wherever you put your hub. In the hallway, let's say that you have a smart switch, which for whatever reason has a night light plugged in or something similar to that. And then in the living room, you have a light, a light stand that you would like to turn on. And so you say either to your smart speaker or on your phone smart device, turn on the lounge light. The hub gets the signal. The Z-Wave hub sends the message to the switch, which is closest to it. The switch goes to bounce to the lounge, but it can't reach. And so frustration ensues. On a good day, it might miraculously reach and then come back and then you're like, great, it works, it doesn't work anyway. And then you start getting complaints from everyone else in the family that your new fancy smart home doesn't work and that's just really sad. Enter in the Z-Wave range extender. So now when we ask to turn on the lounge light, the signal from the hub tells the switch. The switch then bounces to the range extender. The range extender then bounces to the light. Now you can put this anywhere between these two devices as long as that it can reach both. That seems like problem solved, right? Which is great and that might be all you need to do. But there is one thing to know when you're buying one of these, you might need two of these. And here's the scenario for that. You ask to turn the lounge light on, the hub tells, bounces to the switch, says please turn the lounge. The switch then bounces to the Z-Wave range extender. The Z-Wave range extender, which has extra strong powers, reaches all the way down to the living room and turns on the lamp. The lamp then goes to tell the range extender that it's on, but it can't reach. Because while the Z-Wave range extender has that, that much of a, of a range, uh, for example, with the um, AATEC Range Extender 6, 150 meters outdoor, around 30 meters indoor. So it can reach the lamp, but the lamp may not be able to reach back to say, I'm on. So the switch can tell, the switch can tell the hub, which tells you that your light's on. Now, of course, all that happens within, within a moment. So you 
if the the first scenario works where you know everything is just going to reach okay that's great but if you have a long distance between the two you may need two range extenders so that the switch can tell the first device assuming that you have you know devices in the middle to the range extender the range extender reaches to another range extender that tells the switch which bounces to the range extender which can reach all the way back to the range extender to the switch and to the hub okay so this the three scenarios there uh, one is it, it just can't reach. You introduce a Z-Wave range extender between these two and then they can reach each other perfectly or you have greater range needed which means you're going to need to put another Z-Wave range extender in the middle so that those two can talk to each other. That's really the basics of Z-Wave range extenders. They're very very simple devices. Basically all they have is a boosted um, signal. Um, in them, boosted power signal in them so that they can push further than a typical Z-Wave device. So if you're having dropouts in your house because of your Z-Wave uh, range issues, um, then if you're like me, this will solve your issues. Hopefully that was helpful. I'm gonna keep it really short. I'll include links below to the Atec Range Extender 7, uh, which as I say, has an indoor average range of about 30 meters, which should be more than enough for most of the houses uh, that we all own. That's it for today. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Nice to see you. Make sure you like and subscribe because every time you do a little Z-Wave fairy comes to life. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye for now.